It's more obvious every day there's a war on children. The trans agenda is loud and has monetary backing. Church Milton's Nadia Bullock discusses the agenda to mutilate children and who's pushing against it. There are medicines you can take to delay puberty for a while. They're called puberty blockers, and they work like a stop sign. You don't have to have all of the answers right now. This Planned Parenthood ad has recently gone viral for pushing transgender children. And the abortion giant isn't alone. Advancing Excellence in Transgender Health is hosting its eighth annual conference virtually this weekend to train the whole healthcare team in providing responsive and confident gender affirmative health care. At last year's conference, male to female transsexual attendee, Dr. Marcy Bowers, likened adolescent sex change surgery to removing an ugly facial mole. Yet, there is pushback even among these doctors. Uh, I gave some data about um, young adults who had transitioned and reproductive regret, like regret. And it's there. Um, and I don't think any of that surprises us. I try to talk about it, but most of the kids are nowhere in any kind of a brain space to really, really, really talk about it in a serious way. In a 2017 press release, Dr. Michelle Cretella wrote, chemical castration and the surgical mutilation of children is not therapy. It is cold, calculated, institutionalized child abuse at the hands of those charged with healing. They have other psychological issues that cause them to behave as a transgender. A 2014 study found 62.7% of those diagnosed with gender dysphoria suffer from mental illness. Without strong pushback, gender dysphoria and its accompanying psych issues will likely continue to go unchecked and not treated properly in children. Nadia Bolak, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. In 2017, Dr. Cortella shared research showing 75 to 95 percent of prepubescent children outgrow their gender distress, quote, after passing naturally through puberty.